Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon and Gemini Rising monthly tarot reading for August 2018. Now if you like the video and you want to know more about your month, specifically your career and your relationship, there will be an extended tarot reading for purchase for just as little as one dollar, my website, that <clears throat> is um, constructed with two spreads separately for uh, relationship and for career that regards to your star sign. Now with that being said, for this month I have chose seven card spread and the first card that represents the carry-on circumstances we do have the Wheel of Fortune. Then the next card represents the topic of the month for you that will be the Knight of uh, Wands. Afterwards we do have uh, the things you can uh, achieve or uh, that card plays a role as intentions, what you should aim for during this uh, particular month. Then we do have the best possible approach toward the situation that will be the Queen of Cups and the previous one was the King of Pentacles. Going forward we have the attitude of the people that are in your circle that will be the Seven of Cups followed by the obstacles to be faced here during the month or the challenges to be faced that will be the Seven of Swords and the last one represents the uh, final outcome here with the Emperor. So you Geminis are going to have very productive month from a first glance upon these cards. Now uh, <clears throat> the carry on circumstances obviously are circumstances of uh, great luck and uh, circumstances of, um, I cannot say really a door opening but let's say that uh, multiple opportunities were coming in your way and they're gonna carry on into that month. The Wheel of Fortune is one of the cards pointing that um, you know surprises, pleasant surprises are happening in every single corner and it is up to you, however, uh, to take and to, uh, to make use of those circumstances and of those surprises for your personal benefits. And that in contribution with the topic of the month, which is the end, which is the Knight of Wands, points to how much you have to experiment with those openings, guys. I can't even uh, tell you enough how crucial it is for you to be uh, not even playful, but more like uh, eager to um, explore life in every single aspect. The Knights of Wands this is about, as I said, exploring opportunities and finding what truly works for you. Very important, however, to be said with that card is to uh, realize uh, which uh, activity, which relationship, for example, or not relationship, but which person, for example, is good for you into one relationship, uh, which job is best for you to carry on with, etc., etc., and to focus pri primarily on it. So just to give you an, an example, as I said, relationships. Now, uh, these couple of cards, because they are the most important here, right? The topic and the carry on circumstances. So uh, if you are single, these cards are showing that you are not lacking suitors at all. And this month should be entirely focused upon you dating with multiple people just so you can find out which one works best for you. And when you define it, you kind of like start channeling your attitude, your intentions and, you know, in general, your efforts toward that person that it is very important because the Knight of Wands also gives you a lot of uh, energy, you know, to work with and to constantly exploring the world. Also, uh, it kind of burns out very very quickly so you have to catch up the momentum and as soon as you define what is the best opportunity for you either with career choice or with relationship choice to go with it instead of uh, hoping that something better is going to appear on the horizon because it may appear it may not appear but the, the point is what you can work with all right and intention wise here with the with the uh, king of pentacles points that you need to start consolidating and stabilizing your life uh, primarily of establishing your personal estate establishing your personal comfort zone and as well the card represents uh, the uh, game of giving and taking and especially when we're talking about love love is a game of giving and taking you cannot 
ask for love if you are not ready to give love. But intentional wise, this month should be entirely focused upon the equilibrium into the giving and taking. When you, uh, when you want something, first you have to give. And when someone wants from you something that is also very important, first thing that they need to do is to give you in return. Also, the King of Pentacles points that whatever predicaments you may face during the month, you should kind of uh, um, not attract but make use of connections you do have and bring them into the matter. Bring, bring friends into the matter. Bring, as I said, connections into the matter. The point is that you should not face and you don't have to face those predicaments that you may encounter, you may not encounter as well, as well. this is just intentions, all right? Um, not alone, but with the support that people around you have for you. Now, the best possible approach toward the, the situation here with the, with the Queen of Cups, a little bit of a passive card, and it is something I would rather not see as a uh, approach to the, to the Knight of Wands, but the Queen of, of Cups, it is a, about... Um, planning and it is about going with the current which doesn't really well fit with the with the knight of wands with the topic and that kind of may put an extra um reluctancy upon the situation i will tell you why now you do have many opportunities to explore all right but in the same time this queen will make you start planning for every single one of it and that will make it very hard to decide afterwards what you should continue with because most likely with those couple of cards having them having them uh, re reflecting you in conjunction it means that you will see the goodness uh, or kind of like the benefits in every single one of them and those benefits are going to be uh, seemingly equal and that's why it will be difficult for you to decide with which person to move on with into relationship what kind of approach you should take toward your personal relationship should you uh, should you have any uh, and with career uh, decisions as well but the queen of cups as it is a, a cups card rather advises you to listen if you are facing such kind of a dilemma to listen to your uh, emotions and to your in uh, and to your intuitions all right so because uh, the queen of cups kind of like cherish uh, cherishes her emotions above everything else and while she do so she finds herself transformed so um you have to go with what your heart dictates here rather than what your mind uh, asks you to do all right and this is how you will know what the right choice is for you gemini's afterwards we go to the uh attitude of the people which are surrounding you seven of cups now very peculiar attitude it is um the, pe the people will disapprove of how scattered you are because you will seem scattered into the eyes of others when you start exploring you know your uh, your capabilities and your options available because just look at it from that side if you are date multiple people your friends may start thinking that you basically can't have enough of it and you are playing with them etc etc the bottom line here with the seven of cups is that you're gonna baffle the people around you and they will start feeling uh, kind of um, uncomfortable and uncomfortable in the good sense of the world of the world because the only intentions those people will have against you is to prevent you of doing some some sort of a mistake that you may had done in the past and though they don't want the history to repeat itself during this particular month so you may face a certain criti criticism to uh, um, uh, criticism here and there uh, you may face some um you know some uh, a fatherhood speeches upon how you should sit on your butt for example and just focus on one thing over another but again uh, the month it will be doubled guys for you uh, with uh, options available and it will be a shame if you um, if you miss if you miss those kind of options available for yourself and instead you know you just do nothing because uh, probably these people will advise you to focus more upon the stability or rather the things that you do have 
right now instead of you know uh, adding a, a new uh, varieties in your life which is exactly what you should do during that particular month now then we go to the seven of swords which represents the challenges to be faced here seven of swords um, <clears throat> is a um in your particular case it's uh it, it does regards to lies unfortunately very rarely that card is that direct to lies but um it is born from jealousy so there will be as well people jealous of that you do have uh, options available and you have the right you know to make your life the way you want it and they will want that same thing for them uh, and uh, just because they can't info influence your situations or your life in any other way they will try to lie you in a certain uh, in a certain way so you can miss some of those opportunities that's why it's very important to follow your intuition and your emotions during this particular month instead of following your logic because your logic could be polluted with uh, someone else's you know statements which are uh, fraudulent and which are a, a fraud so uh, what you need to do in order to overcome these kind of um, challenges is to have a strong spine you know step for your personal rights and don't allow anybody to play with your sovereignty and finally we go to the outcome of the month here with the emperor now the emperor is very positive card when is um when is the follow-up as an outcome of the uh knight of wands it does speaks for your um concentration upon one specific thing so that card is a sure sign that you will find the best possible options for you either career wise or either relationship wise and also you will be uh, ex you will be entirely fitted to take the responsibility for those options so they will be yours and as you take the responsibility that will also give you the dominions the power and uh, the control upon your personal life upon your personal situations um, with this card it is likely that your career will continue on moving forward and will improve big time relationship wise it speaks that uh, things in your relationship will uh, kind of like calm down you know and um, there will be um, if not an agreement at least understanding in between you and your partner etc etc the bottom line here is is that if your if your life is a mess right now at the end of august probably you are going to uh, obtain back the control upon it and the emperor also promises you that you will uh, be you will have um, a clear outlook of the distant future where those kind of opportunities are leading you toward and as well uh, by you being able to foresee that you will be able as well to kind of like make a, a clear plan how to act upon it and by that plan you will um, be able to clear out some free space for yourself some free time to just indulge yourself with your hobbies with the things that are bringing pleasure to your heart etc etc so that being said, uh, Gemini's, this was your monthly tarot reading for August 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, if you again want to uh, know more about the month and specifically uh, know in depth about your career and your relationship, you can do that by purchasing the extended tarot reading, which focuses strictly on those two fields, relationships, a relationship and career for your star sign for just as little as one dollar and as well uh, if you're interested in a private reading with me everything you need to know about it for the extended video and from the for the private readings will be written down in the description of this video rat signing out now see you next time bye